Okay, welcome back to members of 121 Community Church in Grapevine, Texas, and our continuing study in Paul and the Faithfulness of God by N.T. Wright. We're going to look at our very important recall triad for pages 700 to 720, where Professor Wright presents Paul's dialectical theology. And I think it's going to be great. I, I need a picture to really capture what a lesson taught, and we had so much content there, but I think this will really help us. But what I did is I put the, the two New Testament concepts in each moment. The first Greek concept will be the uh, Christology concept, and the second concept will be the pneumatology concept. So we'll have them both as we go through the three moments. In fact, let's just, let's just look at the comments, I mean, the concepts first. First of all, in block one, we're going to be looking at kenosis as the self-emptying of Christ into the uh, sinfulness of all humanity in order to redeem all of humanity. So that applies to his Christology of self-emptying. Somoneos is the concept for new temple. We are, our bodies are the new temple of the indwelling spirit. On block two, we're going to look at uh, Kyrios as the Christological concept of lordship. Christ is exalted to lordship over all of creation. In the realm of spirit, we take up ex erkami, which is the exhortation, because Christ is Lord, move out of sinfulness, move away from idolatry. So that becomes a, an imperative for pneumatology. In the third moment, we've got two great concepts here because we've got the uh, epicahistomy of Christology, where Christ does fulfill the prophecy of the returning Yahweh. He does fulfill that purpose of the restoration of kingdom. He is uh, the restoration of the kingdom. He is the returning Yahweh. And it's this fulfillment of kingdom takes place through, in the spiritual realm, Anna Kafaleao, which is ingathering. It's through the ongoing spiritual ingathering of all of creation into Christ that we move toward restoration and fulfillment of kingdom. So let's begin with block one. We're going to take a look at the kenosis and somoneas. Philippians 2.7 tells us that this is the kenosis passage. Christ empties himself into humanity's captivity to sin in order to redeem all of humanity from curse. He became a curse to deliver humanity from curse. In 1 Corinthians 3.16, believers are the new temple of God. Believers are the indwelt new temple of God, indwelt by Christ's spirit. That is the realm of spirit within which we live. We live within spirit, and spirit indwells us. On block two, uh, we have Curios and Ex Erkami. Romans 10, 4 through 6, Christ is the teleosis of God's kingdom. He is the Lord. He is the Lord over all of creation, moving toward the eschaton, or the teleology of God's kingdom. In Ephesians 1, 10, we see that uh, Christ gathers all of creation into himself in order to redeem it. So this lordship is in, is in gathering. It's lordship as in gathering. That's what it is. The lordship of Christ is a lordship of in gathering. In 2 Corinthians 6, 14 to 7, 1, Christ lives among the church. He lives among the called out ones through his spirit. He indwells the church. He lives among the church. He leads the church just as Israel was led in the first exodus. Now in block three, we take a look at the uh, Zechariah 14, 5 through 9, which uh, tells us of the ongoing advent and the ongoing enabling of Christ, which fulfills the prophecy of the returning Yahweh. Yahweh is returning 
as an ongoing advent of spirit. We live in a kingdom. Not everyone can see this kingdom, but we can see it with spiritual eyes and we can hear it with spiritual ears. And this kingdom is being enabled by the ongoing advent of the spirit. Now Ephesians 2, 19 through 22, the ingathering of Christ's lordship is an ingathering under Christ as the alignment of kingdom, as kafali. Christ gathers all of creation into himself because Paul tells us he is the kafali. He's the head of the plan of salvation. He is the authority over all authorities. He is the the son of God through whom creation will become new creation. He is kafali. He is kafali. So as kafali, Christ and spirit both bring the kingdom forward to coming docks of glory. So there's this uh, process of ingathering in order for all of creation to reach docks of glory and creation will reach docks of glory as it is ingathered in the Messiah. So we've got a great, I just think, I need this help. I need a, a graphic picture to look at. That was a, a lot of content for that lesson, but we've got everything now. And really, six concepts. You've got the concept for um, kenosis Christology as self-emptying, somaneos, pneumatology as our bodies are the temple of God. Then you've got uh, block two, you've got Christology as the curious lordship of Christ, and then the ex ercomai exhortation to believers to separate themselves from sin, separate from idolatry, because of the lordship of Christ. And then in block three, you've got the uh, apocathistomy, restoration of kingdom, and the return moment to God, the restoration of what God intended for creation from the beginning, which takes place uh, as Ana Kafaleao, and that is, uh, you can see the word Kafali is actually integrated in that concept. And it's through this ingathering into Christ as Kafali that we come to reaching the eschaton of the docks of glory. The Father draws us to the Son. The Son gathers us in as a shepherd into ingathering within him. And when we are within him, our names are imprinted on the Messiah's heart, which happens to be the book of life, by the way. So as we are ingathered into Christ, our names are imprinted in the heart of Christ, which is the book of life. And his image is imprinted in our hearts. The image of Christ is imprinted in the believer's heart, and our name is imprinted in the heart of Christ, who is the book of life. So just get these six concepts together, and you have Paul's dialectical, dialectical theology, as posited by N.T. Wright. You've got his uh, dialectical Christology and pneumatology both in these six concepts. That'll wrap up our recall triad. We'll pick up next time on page 721.